So continuing our video series, answering all the questions that we get during our regular season, a big recurring question is, how do you guys stay fit on the road? Right, Trish? Well, it's a big jump to assume that we think we're fit. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay, there's, that's a large <laughs> scale of what is fit and what is not. But but we thought we'd we share try. anyway. <laughs> we try. So today's workout day, and we are all set up, and we're all set up to share with you our workout routine. And this happens quite a bit, but we record it very seldom because it takes longer to set up the GoPro and to get all ready to. Well, you know, like when you're ready to like create something or you're yeah. ready to do something especially working out, you mm -hmm. don't want to get out of the mood. Yes. It's like, I have this tiny glimmer that I want to work out. I'm not going to ruin 30, 45 it. minutes to work out. There'll be an hour if we record it and we're like, we'll just go work out. We'll just go work out. But anyhow, we do want to address the question. So in this video, we are going to show you a very common workout of ours. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to share some ideas to help you stay fit on the road or while traveling. Are yeah. you ready? I'm already listening to my music. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, Trish is all headphones, but she stole my headphones. Stole my headphones. What did he say? They say what did dad. he say? No, no. <laughs> they say Trish. Show, no, show them what they said. They say show edit said. only dad. Show them. Show them. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> they say edit only. start this time lapse right here and we're going to time lapse the workout. We're going to show you some of the equipment that we use and then we're going to sit down and have a conversation about this. Time lapse starts now. This is seriously hard. There's no shortage of things to do with a body weight workout. From this table, to step ups, to jump ups, to sit ups, to butterfly kicks, to sit ups, to pull ups, to push ups, to kettlebell swings, squats, lunges. What am I missing? Puking. Let me get some sparkling water. Okay. You want one? Sure. I'll take one of those funky flavors. You'll take one of what? The turquoise one. I have a regular one. That's okay. It's cold after you stop moving around. Okay, here you go. Oh, here you go. Thank you. I don't think we've ever recorded directly after a workout. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. We're going to lose our train of thought. Keep you, yeah, I was going to say, keep your train of thought. Ah, that's hard. <laughs> okay, nice job. Cheers. Okay. Well done. You see that eye contact there? Yes. It's good. Yes. Yes. So this is a video we have wanted to do for a long time because a lot of people assume that we are in fairly good shape from the videos. <laughs> Little do they know. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, they've been asking, what do you guys do to stay fit while traveling? I'll have another cinnamon roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to Alaska. <laughs> Short answer. 
I don't think, I think we worked out three times the entire season five. Yeah, well, it was really chilly, but I don't know if weather has everything to do with it, no, right? No, that's kind of an excuse. Because I do have a beacon for a good bakery. I'm like, dee -dee 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 -dee. Yes. <laughs> I'm in the area. Yes. Someone is baking something and it smells good. So what we wanted to do is share with you our philosophy, if you will, some things that we've learned along the way and share with you different ideas for three different stages of fitness, let's say. Yes. Beginner, intermediate, intermediate, and advanced. And stages have nothing to do with ages because... Wow, Trish. <laughs> yes, well, it's true. <laughs> when you were training for your triathlons, remember how yeah. you used to say that the... What are they oh, called? Oh, I used that? to get my butt kicked by the thir uh, masters. The group. masters group. These guys that were 35 plus. Yeah. would just crush it. But in peak guys in their like 50s and they had really great oh, uh, man, air amazing. lung capacity, yeah. da da da. I digress. Anyway, yes. so it doesn't have anything to do with your age, it just has to do with what you like yeah. and how far you've pushed yourself yeah. and things like that. And I feel like I've been a pretty st steady, like one and two, and then I have to have like a carrot, something big in order to push For myself stage to three. be a number three. Otherwise yeah. I'm like, <laughs> no. Okay, so uh, disclaimer, videos like this, require a healthy amount of disclaimers. <laughs> we are not fitness coaches. Nope. We are not fitness experts. Nope. We have no right or credibility to be sharing any of this information. But there is a bit of a bit of a but. With that said. With that said, but with comma. that, okay. But with that said, comma, <laughs> uh, I think it's important to know that I was a college athlete. Yes. I was on the triathlon team for U of A. I was on the cycling team for ASU. I used to do some cat races and some crit races at the uh, United States Cycling Federation. And Trish, captain of her swim team in high school, <laughs> but then it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. If she'll let me, if she'll let me overlay some images, and now. Trish, <laughs> Trish used to do a figure uh, lifting. And yes, I, I will, enjoyed lifting. And I will tell you that when Trish was doing pull-ups at Gold's Gym, there was a crowd that would form to watch her do it. It's a good thing we have a memory, people, okay? <laughs> because I am no longer in that condition. <laughs> but it was fun to train. Like I said, yes. it takes me something exciting to get to a level three. Yes. So, and otherwise I like to hang out in one and two. I just think uh, maybe our, a little bit of our background is important before we have this conversation. And so, although we're not fitness experts, we have received a lot of fitness training coaching, coaching a lot of great coaching both of us have yeah so, and so we're just gonna repeat everything we learned well and with that said it's probably best if you are thinking of something new whether it's a diet or a training or whatever chat with your doctor and then oh, yeah. chat with a professional especially if you haven't done any weight training because they can help you with your stance and how to warm up and those things yeah. sound silly but those are the number one things for injuries okay yeah man the disclaimers are gonna be longer than the video so <laughs> um so that's a really good point there is only one rule when it comes to getting in shape, and that is don't get hurt. Yes. And the way that you avoid getting hurt is you ease into everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, if, you know, if you if you used to be in good shape and then you're gonna hit it again, sometimes we remember really being in shape and then like we were <laughs> hurt the first time. So, you know, spend a lot of time warming up. Yes. Start in easy, start with walks, then progress to jogging. Do things on time, not distance. Go out for a half hour instead of going out for three miles. And then over time, you'll do more in that same half hour. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, that's... So what are the levels? One, so two, and three. So level one, beginner. Maybe you might be thinking, I've heard of working out. I think I understand the concept. I just don't like to do it. Okay. <laughs> I watch people do that kind of thing. And, <laughs> and I'm I think good. they're crazy. <laughs> I'm at the RV park. I see people running around. I don't know what they're doing. Is somebody chasing doing? them? <laughs> Is there a RV on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Do they need me to help? Honey, pack up the rig. With their, everyone's running for the hills. <laughs> everyone's running. Okay, wow. Are you tired? This is why we don't do videos after we work out. <laughs> Uh, off topic okay. rambling and <laughs> okay so if this is the category that you're in we have some suggestions yes we think that the nice thing about RVing is that you have your kitchen with you all the time mm -hmm. and on one aspect staying fit while traveling can be difficult because you are out but mm -hmm. in an RV it can actually be easier right because you have your kitchen all the time well and when Mark says you have your kitchen what he really means is you can't out train a bad diet. That's true. <laughs> and I really wish you could. When Trish was training for her show, she had a wonderful trainer named Robbie. Mm -hmm. And Robbie had this rule and it really, it, it's gonna sound overly simplified, but it's <laughs> so true. And that is buy the food, prepare the food, 
and eat the food. That's right. And you're saying that's that sounds silly. Thanks, Robbie. Yeah, you know, thanks for that. <laughs> How much do I owe you for that wonderful <laughs> okay, nugget yeah, of wisdom? <laughs> but in, in hindsight, any time that we have fallen off of the bandwagon or it becomes difficult, it's because we did not have we didn't go to the grocery store, we didn't have the food available. We didn't buy the food. We didn't buy the food, or we didn't take the time to prepare the food, or we didn't eat the food. And right. so oftentimes when we have the food bought and it's prepared and in the fridge, it's so much easier to eat. It's when we don't have access to the right food and we're hungry that it's just easier to go to fast food or it's easier to go to these places. So right. that's a little bit of, so having having the kitchen with you makes yes. staying in shape while traveling easier. Well, and that's level one. So you're, you know, level one is, well, we're just gonna pay attention most of the time to what mm -hmm. we're eating, what we're preparing. And then also the great thing about RVing is that you're out somewhere new. So yeah. just going for a walk can be exciting and active. It's not about, I have to work out, I have to get this many calories burned, but that I went outside and I enjoyed where I am. Yeah, paying attention to what you eat. There's an expression, what is measured improves. Just simply paying attention to what you're eating, mm -hmm. having it available, and then walking around the RV parks and going on hikes would make a world of difference. Yeah, and I love dogs for that reason too, because then people they are get out. You out. Yes. You're walking your dog, you're Way meeting to, other I, people. I, I know what you're doing, we're moving on to uh, two. Okay, so the, the, so the second one is the intermediate. Intermediate. And this is maybe somebody who is already in, like enjoys working out. Mm -hmm maybe belongs to a gym and goes fairly regularly and might be worried, hey, when I start RVing, am I going to be able to, to get out there, and, get out do there it. and do stuff? So we have a recommendation for this particular person. Just a bit ago, Trish and I joined... Anytime. Anytime? Yeah, mm -hmm. Anytime Fitness. They're not a sponsor, they're not an affiliate, they don't even know we exist. The reason that we join is because they have locations all around the entire country. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then, I discovered that they have internet and showers. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're dry camping or wilderness boondocking, mm -hmm. whatever, there's these locations absolutely everywhere and you can go there to get your little workout on. Let's say upload a video, upload a get video. a workout and take a shower. And then take a shower. So you're yeah. not using your water, your yeah. resources. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, so then there, so there is that. And then what yes. else would we say for the intermediate person? I would say a body weight workout where you saw in our workouts here, mm -hmm. the kettle bells mm -hmm. are awesome uh, we I like to use the Nike app it's um, hooked up to your phone so mm -hmm. and then you can also make it social so you can send the workout to your friend if I've never actually done that but I do scan the workouts and then pick some of the exercises that I like because I get a little stuck like okay so after I do this this and this what mm -hmm. do I do after my three exercises so then they help me kind of like add to my repertoire yes so anyway so that's really fun the Nike workout app and I think it's also connected to um, uh, what are those fancy little the Garmin and the Apple Watch the Apple stuff. Watch yeah. yes because yeah. Nike and Apple are like friends now yeah yeah so that's for the intermediate person and I would say that it would it's not that difficult to pop on the internet and find some really good body weight workouts mm -hmm. that's essentially what we've been doing for the past three years I will say I've lost a fair amount of muscle since we started doing this but it doesn't really bother me I maybe but if you do have muscles you need to keep working them out <laughs> So you can get your pump on over yeah. at any time or there's all different places to drop in. One of the things that I really enjoyed doing when I was in Michigan because we were staying somewhere for a month mm. was I joined a local yoga place and they usually have like one month for $20 or something mm -hmm. crazy. Well, you're only going to be there for one month. Mm -hmm. So I got to go in there and Tori and I both joined for like $60 for yeah. one month and then we totally went in and yeah. enjoyed the classes and we met people and the best part is those are usually locals so i was getting all kinds of advice on where to go where to hike where to go grocery shopping i was like wow this is super cool so yeah good advice yeah okay let's talk about the third the advanced person and i would probably say that before we left for season one this was the category that we were in we were working out almost daily and I was a little bit worried how I was going to maintain an advanced level of fitness when we went on the road. Yes. So we have a couple really good suggestions for you. One is, and you probably saw it already in the videos, what the heck is that on the back of the rig? Yes. Okay, this is called the Hitch Fit and I was going through Instagram one day and I saw this image right here and I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> And I went to their website and I immediately got one, hooked it up to the rig. I can't believe people haven't noticed it on the back. I, I, know. I think people just think it's a bike rack or something. But anyway, this thing unfolds and it stabilizes on the ground and I've got a pull-up bar. I even have a rack and I've been trying to figure out how I can bring a barbell 
in the back of the truck so that I could do cleans and squats and that type of stuff. But anyway. You start your own little sick fit gym back there. Yeah, that's yes. right, yeah. So we've got this uh, bar where we can do pull-ups, we can do leg raises, mm -hmm. Trish can use it for the, the straps. Mm -hmm. um, More body weight exercises. Yeah, so this has been a game changer in terms, because on the, the first two and a half years we were doing this, I was missing doing pull-ups, because that's a whole intensity of your lats and your back that you tend to miss depending on which area of the country you're traveling. There's not a lot of trees and things that you can grab on. So this thing has been kind of a game changer. So if you're advanced or a crossfitter uh, and you have a hitch or a trailer, then definitely check that out, link down below. Well, and there's also CrossFits. Yes. Everywhere. everywhere. And, I and they love drop-ins. They love drop-ins. And I believe that if you call the gym first, you can say, hey, I'm at a level, blah, blah, blah. When's the best time for me to show up? Yep. Because certain types of workouters, <laughs> mm -hmm. in the formal term, go at different times. I know that there were more intense people that worked out at like the 5 a.m. Oh, versus yeah, yeah, the that's 10 right a.m. Mm -hmm. versus, you yeah. know, whatever. So what? however you feel comfortable, plug in to that group. Group. Don't put yourself in a group where you're like, I'm never showing up again because I feel intimidated yeah, yeah. or I feel like underworked or anything like now, that. Now, if you are a CrossFitter and you want to keep like a daily, um, what do they call it, like the workout of the day, there is something called Street Parking, which was a former CrossFitter that turned into a mobile app and she posts a workout every day. You can subscribe to that. And if you only have certain pieces of equipment, then you can kind of tell it, hey, I only have this, and then a workout be designed for you. So mm -hmm. there is that option. But you can see in our workout, we use pretty much everything. If you're at a, a campground that has a picnic table, we use the picnic tables for, for squats, for dips, for step ups, for jump ups. Mm -hmm. We have these metal yes, stools. We, have we use stools. those in the rig. Trish uses them to reach glasses in the rig. <laughs> anything, but, <laughs> reach anything. But we use those for step ups. We've got kettlebells, which was a game changer. Yes. We brought on season that three. That was a definite. You have and then to we have. could do arm raises and that kind of stuff. So you can see we can use just about anything. So one thing that comes to mind, a quote that comes to mind, ever since I heard it, I've never forgotten it. And that is that those who have their health have a thousand goals and those who don't have only one. Yeah. So there's just a couple suggestions for you advanced crazy people. And I will say that if you are an advanced athlete, traveling by RV can be a major gift because mm -hmm. the national parks, the runs, the hikes, you can turn an advanced workout into almost anything. Well, and you can make your trips around different things like yeah. marathons and you can get people together and then you can have like yep. you know take up a campground and all have fun together after or before or whatever yeah. before a big event mm -hmm. and then the other thing that i loved was when we were um in Tofino mm -hmm. and or on Vancouver Island and mm -hmm. remember Storm the boy's yes. friend mm -hmm. so like we were running around she's like I want to go running with yeah. you mm -hmm. so then she like came and ran and then the boys were like super macho and they're like super running I'm like so I've never funny. seen settle down Carson and Gail I've never hey, seen this you is run. easy mom they're like, and dad. oh this is we do this all the time and then so. I was like we need to take girls with us everywhere everywhere <laughs> it's great showering brushing your teeth going for runs I love this <laughs> <laughs> oh so anyway, gosh. it will help bring you closer to, um, you know, other people in the campground or wherever you are. And there's other stuff we've done. Like we once in season three, we did a squat challenge where we did 100 squats a day for oh, yeah. 30 days. Okay, so we're in the squats. middle of a deep squat challenge. No squat pun intended. Challenge. <laughs> 2017. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Remember Tracy was doing that with us yes. on the back of the boat? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so there's anyway. stuff like that. So. Yeah. Uh, overall, no matter what condition that you're in, start with just like RVing, start where you are, take it easy, and do it based on time. Don't do it on distance. Just yeah. a half hour, maybe just an ounce, measuring some of the things that you eat, paying closer attention to it, and just being active and lot walking the dog and work your way up. Well, and do it for, my suggestion is to do it for you, because whenever I've tried to do something because I should, or I should do this, or I should do that, I kind of get like angry inside, and it depends on what kind of person you are, but I get a little rebellious, like, yes. well, I don't want it, I'm fine the way I am, thank you very much. <laughs> and then when I like have something click, for me, because I've read something or I saw something and I get excited about it, it takes a totally different like form mm -hmm. and it's actually fun. Yeah. So whatever type of personality you are, if you um, are super, you know, um, what's it called? Not aggressive, but competitive. If you're super competitive, maybe you sign up for something. If you like to do, if you are motivated by friends, you say, hey, you want to meet me? Don't Find your inspiration and jump off of it from there instead of like, you what know, you should do. what you should do. Because Just... you remember from last week's video, <laughs> we don't like to should on you. Yes. Sir. All right. Find We're not saying you should do any of this. <laughs> We're, We're just sharing <laughs> ideas on what we do and whatnot. Yeah. And it's hard. It's difficult for us, but. Yeah. But you know what? We always seem to get like juiced afterwards. We, we get good ideas and we get excited. So that's why we're sharing it with you because 
after it's over, it's actually great. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So then there's going to be links down below to everything that we mentioned and some of the books we mentioned down below. So check those out because we have read some very good books like mm -hmm. Younger Next Year. And by the way, Younger Next Year, there is a, a version for men and a version for women. We've only read the version for men, mm -hmm. but I think it's a good place to start, yeah. particularly if you're getting older. We're getting older. <laughs> so there's just some ideas on how we stay fit while traveling. I hope you got one thing out of this video that will help you stay fit or have whatever goals that you have, fitness goals. Mm -hmm. Hard to wrap this thing up. I got that dogs are good. <laughs> 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 they bring joy and exercise All right. and health. On that note, on that note, links to everything we mentioned down below, including some of the books we recommended. And I think there's just a few more videos before Secret Season 6 starts, right? Well, we still have to do the, um, we still have to do the KYD cabin renovation videos and then Season 6 starts. So, so lots more to come. We're glad you're here and we will catch you same time, same place next Sunday. Bye!